think every week someone comes up with the brilliant idea of uh, Rick Grimes is in a coma, right? And this is all a dream. Mm. And oh, yeah. I love it because it comes, it's like every four or five days someone comes at it like it's like a great new idea. And I've been getting it since the comic book started, mm -hmm. you know, 15 years ago. So so that's always fun. But uh, but I don't know. I mean, I, I love the fan interaction. I think that uh, you're absolutely right. It mm -hmm. does all tend to, you, right. you know, uh, uh, skew negative. Uh, yeah. But uh, I think that uh, being able to get uh, to be able to decipher that feedback, to be able to like see what people are saying, I think is kind of a gift. I think that that's something that wasn't really around 10, 15 years ago. Uh, you can look at it as a curse. It is also sometimes painful. But uh, I think as long as you have a thick enough skin to be able to dive in and go, oh, they hate this, they hate that, they hate that. Well, that thing we're in. You know, like, I don't know, as a writer, I feel like everything I do is terrible anyway. Like, I get that <laughs> feeling where I'm like, oh, yeah, they're going to find me out now. This is just terrible. And and so uh, it can tend to sometimes uh, uh, reinforce those feelings. But uh, I feel like, you know, having that uh, back and forth and, and getting a sense of what people think is, is important. Now we're going to need a new understanding. Apologies. Punish. Kill me. you say if you have to kill someone there has to be punishment then kill me robert uh walking dead of course has killed off its fair share of beloved characters and a more recent one i think sort of strayed from the original yes. material and that can really piss off fans when do and you it did <laughs> it did so when do you decide to sort of deviate um, from what they may be expecting based on the source material? Uh, I mean, it's a weird process on Walking Dead because we have a you know full writing staff and a writer's room and, and, and they're working on things, but I'm an executive producer, I'm there, and so, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's I, you know, I, I'm actively like participating in changing material that mm -hmm. I myself wrote, which mm -hmm. is really weird, uh, but it's, uh, <laughs> It's fun, I guess. My favorite thing is, you know, uh, early in the seasons, I was uh, in the writer's room full time and we would be around the room and they would kind of forget, you know? Mm. And so we'd just be sitting there and they'd be like, yeah, we're getting to that one thing in the comics, but that didn't really work. I wasn't, I didn't really like where that, oh, Robert, I'm, uh, hey, you know? And so uh, I had to get used to that, which was, you know, fun. But uh, but I don't know, I mean, it's just, it's, it's the comic is a, a thing that I work on with Charlie Adlard that I've written. And uh, by the time we're adapting issues, it's five years old, that material, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sick of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanna try something new. Uh, and then you've got this brilliant staff of writers that are coming up with new ideas and, and different ways to work with the material. And uh, that's energizing to me. We have the luxury, not being at Netflix, of people uh, seeing snippets of our material mm -hmm. and then judging the rest of the season on that. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so that yeah. sometimes yeah. can be, you know, mm -hmm. A little nerve-wracking, but uh, but you know I think uh, you know the fan base once they see everything that we had planned and once they know like why we change the things that we changed, they kind of come back on board and they realize like oh you know they know what they're doing kind of and you know then it's okay. But we got a nice nice few weeks on social media that was uh, hmm. I'm really okay. fun. Do you have a question that you wish fans would stop asking about one of your projects? I, I love the fans, but. Uh, I get this. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I get the same question from a lot of different people. Where they'll they'll come up and they'll say, uh, uh, you know, yeah, they, they, it's not even really a question. Why am I answering? Anyway, uh, they'll mm. they'll come up to me and they'll say, I've got this great idea for a character, and they'll go into this like huge description of all the ins and outs of this character, and like five minutes into it, I start noticing that they're you know describing themselves and yeah. attributes <laughs> that they clearly have, yeah. and then at the end of it, they always say and. I would be perfect for this character. <laughs> perfect for this character. And I'm talking like conventions, sometimes on Twitter, like like mm. people that are not actors that have never acted before in their lives. Mm -hmm. And I, it's just, uh, why do they do that? I don't, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, that one I wish would stop because so many people do it. it. It's crazy. There's also one who has like, you know, this great idea for a, a movie. It's, you know, one line and mm. I'd be willing to give you a piece of it. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs>